Hi everyone. So I've been sorting out these dolls. Um, they've got very sticky heads. Um, so what I did was first of all I sprayed um, furniture polish on them. Then what I did after that was use um, warm water and fairy liquid to get the um, polish off. And I soaked them for a bit in the warm water and polish. You have to make sure it's not too hot, otherwise you just melt the glue in the head and create more of a sticky mess. And then what I did was left them to dry. Um, and it's not too bad. That feels pretty good. This one, her hair was horrendous. It was so gooey and stiff and sticky. It was a horrible mess. This is not too bad. Unfortunately, I've run out of polish now, so if another doll has it, they'll have to just carry on being sticky for a bit until I can get some more, but I like it. It works quite well. Um, all I've got to do now is do this one's hair. Why do people leave the tags in the back of their heads? Brush the hair and smooth it down. I'm just using this. This is a pet brush. I use it on the dolls. I found it works quite well on the hair to smooth it down when I'm brushing it. And the way her hair is when it's new, is each of these little bits is twisted. And then pulled across like so. So what I'm going to have to do actually, I need a piece of hair out to attach this to. Let's kill that elastic, makes it easy to take out after. Right, so if I get a piece of hair at the bottom here, to attach those from it's two mm, yeah piece at the back should do it I find this is the awkward part with Abby's hair is putting these bits back once it's once it's in there it works quite well Can't remember off the top of my head the rest of her hair goes, but I'm just going to tie it back in a ponytail anyway. I'm not too worried. I don't know if she has it loose actually. I'm not sure. So I've taken those strips that go across the front and I've attached them at the back, and then this piece that sticks down, I'm going to join onto the ponytail that's going to be formed at the back. That way it stops being so obvious and also it helps secure it in place. Perfect, but not terrible either. The only thing I don't like about this tinselly stuff is it makes a mess. And then I'll put her accessories back in. This one, um, I have to lower you down a bit so I can see what I'm doing. This one didn't have the headset accessory. Um, 
I've got a spare but I can't find it at the minute but she, this one's got her belt her cuffs and her shoes so that's a bonus and I've got her earrings because she came with them let's pop those back in but I have got the um, thing that goes on her head knocking her out somewhere so she's cleaned up nice her hair's not too bad it doesn't feel sticky or anything so fingers crossed I've got most of it off I will probably have to do the treatment again because I find these these seat glue once they've been in storage for a bit so we'll see but she's done for now next one I've got is this Twilight and her hair was horrendous it still does look horrendous but let's have a look <coughs> Try and not drop my entire tin of elastics. <coughs> so yeah, in between in between doing my work, this is what I've been doing the last like week or so is cleaning up any dolls I haven't cleaned up from before so like I bought this ages ago and never got round to cleaning her up to get the sticky out of her hair or anything so now I'm finally doing them I just sat down yesterday for about an hour doing these just like you know untangling the hair getting the the glueiness out that sort of thing there you go she's not too bad She's come out pretty good too. I can still feel her hair's a little bit stiff at the back, but another treatment and her hair will be fine. Then I managed to find this Catherine de Mew. Um, I have got this one. We complete with tail. This one unfortunately is missing her tail, but I thought she'd come in useful um, if all else fails for spares, but she's a pretty doll. I do like her. And her hair was like solid as a rock like it was just rigid and rigid and sticky it was horrible just brush underneath but that's not come out too bad just, i can still feel her hair's weird so she could have done with um more polish on probably just to finish it off but like I said I've run out I'm hoping I can get some when I next go to the supermarket um, if we're allowed to buy it as an essential item because some um, supermarkets are stopping it now where you can buy non-essentials some shops are anyway um, <coughs> So there she is. I was quite pleased she came with her shoes. There you go, pretty doll. Her hair's a bit weird. It just feels a bit like a helmet on her head there. But it doesn't feel... Let's have a feel. I wouldn't say it's particularly sticky or anything. It's probably still got like gel residue on or something. <coughs> There we go. She looks nice though. That's fine. That'll keep her going for now. Another one I managed to get. I managed to get Scare Screams. Now I hadn't got this one before. So I was quite pleased to get her. Um, but again, her hair was all gluey and weird. Just feeling for a thing at the back of the head from the packaging. <coughs> She's still a bit sticky. Better than she was, but still a bit sticky. I was kind of expecting it with this one, because her hair was really bad. But 
Oh well, I'll just treat her again. No biggie. She looks all right for display anyway, so I'm not going to worry too much. Um, yeah, I hadn't managed to get this one before, and then I found her at a car boot, so I did her up. Um, another one's this lovely Claudine with like this little red riding hood outfit on, which comes with shoes. And it looks like this. She comes with pretty little sort of gloovy thing. And she came with both, all of her earrings, which was a novelty, because normally the earrings are missing, or an arm. She wasn't as sticky as everyone else, but... Yeah, I'm not convinced I've washed it all out. <clears throat> I wish they didn't go through the phase at Mattel of using this cheap glue that just oozes. It's really annoying. It's basically, you have to keep doing this until the, they finish oozing. Which is a pain. Doesn't feel too bad. Uh, slight stickiness, nothing major. Oops. Sorry, Claudine. Let's fasten you up properly. I like her dress, her dress is really pretty, really nice, I like the detailing they've added to it. It's one thing I liked about the Monster Hoyas is the detail they've put into the outfits, really nice. Shame they discontinued them, but oh well. She, yeah, her hair's still a bit weird, probably needs to dry a bit more, I don't think it's quite dried off yet. And then the last one I got was this Freaky Fusion Frankie. Um, I think it's Freaky Fusion, is it? Um, I'll get her ears. She came with um, a headband with wolf ears on and she's got little wolf teeth in. I think it was called Freaky Fusion, this line. And I like that. Get the bits out of this. She just needs to dry off a bit more. Not too bad. She come out pretty good. Her hair wasn't terrible though, to be fair. And then she came with this little headband on. I thought she was very cute. So I'll show you what they look like now. So there's the Frankie. And Claudine. Maybe see your overhead. Oop. Sorry, my tripod's not playing. Hold on. Oh. I managed to pop break my tripod thing, so there you go. So it's Claudine, Frankie. Um Scara. Trendy new. Abby. This is um, 13 Wishes Abby Bombable, by the way. And a little Twyla. So that's it, they're all cleaned up. I've just got to leave um, Claudine and Frankie to dry off a little bit. They're not quite dry. Um, and that's it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.